It was a headline deal just before last year's local election, sold as a critical step towards reaching a settlement on Blue Mud Bay. We will commence now the hard yards. $10 million from the Territory Government to create commercial opportunities for Indigenous people and in exchange permit free access to Aboriginal waters. But the deal rested on approval from traditional owners. Consultation didn't go to plan and a few months later things had changed. They were saying, yes, we will still meet the requirement and what the commitment that you gave to government of permit free. However, we want a process put in place. And we flagged that uh, with everybody uh, in December. This angered recreational fishers who still have serious concerns. The permit system that's been announced actually doesn't cover access to the place that fishers most want to fish, places like the Finnis and the Mini Minis, where traditional owners have been sharing access to their waters uh, for the last 12 years since the Blue Mud Bay decision. There are frustrations for Indigenous leaders too. More than a decade ago, Jambua Marawili celebrated the sea rights granted to his people, but he says the process has dragged on, with many elders dying before seeing the benefits. And we are people that own the land that we are um, the soil of this country. I think we need to work together, caring for this country, bringing a freedom and the future for our generation. Today, the government was stressing work towards a settlement was still on track. The Northern Land Council is working very closely with some of those key stakeholders themselves. There's no need for government to be stepping in and, and being the middleman. But nailing down the right person to talk to has not been easy, with no less than four ministers involved. It's tremendously confusing uh, and it's perhaps not surprising that really progress is ground to a halt. The Northern Land Council says an issue this critical for Territorians should be led by the Chief Minister. Because we've got to balance both the aspirations of traditional owners and also, you know, the need that fishermen have to, to access those fishing spots. A balance that is still at least a couple of years off. Letitia Lemke, ABC News.